with Floss Tube of Terry. And I'm Jamie. And, and we're Cornhusker Husker State Stitchers. Stitchers. This is Friday, September 27th, 2024. And this is Floss Tube number 94. Welcome. Hi. Happy Friday. We're glad you're here. We have a lot to go over tonight. Yeah. We've got a quilt finish that we'll talk Ooh. about in a minute. we got some cross stitching. Lots of cross stitching. Well, no. No. There's a story. There's a story. <laughs> um, we're going to draw for a giveaway that mm -hmm. we mentioned last week. Um, last I, video. We do have some haul. We do have some haul and we have shop updates. And happy mail. And happy mail. Yay. Um, since you mentioned shop updates, let's just tackle that real quick in the sense of, so we did have somebody ask and so we were testing it out to see how it would go having our shop updates on a different channel. Um, it is confusing for people, which we understand. We, people don't know where to find us or Yep. find our shop updates so so we will continue to have our shop updates at the end of this video or all videos and then you'll also see the shop update if you go to the heartland quilting stitching lost it youtube, YouTube. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> we do want to keep that um other channel up and going because we do have plans in the future of maybe doing um extra videos yes but let's see yes so let's you see. will see shop updates on both channels we hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys. It, it took us a minute, but we're so happy. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Um, I think the next video, we're going to plan a 5,000, not a 5,000 giveaway. In the upcoming video of... It's Friday. Kind. Yeah. Okay, sorry. In one of our <laughs> upcoming videos, we will do some kind of a giveaway because we've reached 5,000 subscribers. There you go. Yay. Okay. Okay. Now what? Um, let's mention, we have a couple of retreats to mention. Yes, We've we been do. contacted by a couple of people that just wanted us to let you know that they have retreats coming up. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we will do it. Um, we have Amy, which is Miss Flossie. Mm -hmm. She's got a quilt retreat, I'm sorry, a cross-stitch retreat coming up next year, September 19th through the 21st. Um, refer to her website, mm -hmm. stitchflossie.com, and Jamie will link that in the description box. Yes. And that will be in Tempe, Arizona. I have lots to link today. Okay. And then we also have um, our friend Shelly, yes. who is Prairie Fire Stitcher. She is going to have one in Kearney, Nebraska mm -hmm. next year, which will be July 31st through the August 1st. The August 1st. <laughs> the, the August 1st. August 1st. And that will be in Kearney, Nebraska. So you can get a hold of her at prairiefirestitcher at gmail.com, and yes. we will link that below also. Absolutely. So there you go. Those are just a couple of retreats. I know there's tons of retreats out there, and I think it's fantastic, but we just wanted to highlight those yep. those couple. And then... What else we have to take care of? We have some floss tuber shout-outs we want to talk about. Oh, I was watching a floss tube today, and I got busy and looking at my quilt. Mm -hmm. And the Play Next just came up, and guess who I saw? Who did you see? I saw L Snaps. Oh! Lisa. Yay! She just put out her first video. So, Fantastic. Yeah. So you guys check her out. Um, it's L Snaps, mm -hmm. and you'll link that below too. I will. Yes. We're very choppy. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. Boomba, boomba, <laughs> doom -ba -dee, doom. Anyway, so, so since we mentioned her, we thought it would yeah. be a good time to go ahead and mention some of the other floss tubes that we really like to watch and and give them a shout out. Yes. Um, these are just. The top ones that, you know, when they show up, it's like, I need to watch this. And we'll probably miss some, but oh, absolutely. we'll catch you next time. We'll Sorry. Sorry if we forget you. You know who you are. <laughs> you so who do, you, who do you like to watch? My top is Stitchy Mommy. I absolutely love when her videos come out. She is a planner, and she's full coverage, and she does all the things, and I love all the things, and she's just wonderful. So that's my top. My top would probably have to be Kim Hollenbach with Spartan mm. Stitcher. Yes. She does a lot of full coverage, and she only um, records once a month, and I really enjoy her videos. She's a goal setter, too, yeah. which I can't follow my goals. I can set goals. I can't follow them, but I love watching her, too. Yeah. She's in the horsey world, and she's a um, military background. She's in aviation. aviation. I think that's why I connected with her. Yep, exactly. But... There's a couple others we want to mention, too. So, some that I've been watching very, very frequently lately. Um, Hallie, Stitching Big Things with Hallie, just watched her video this morning when it came out. It's like, 
so I, obviously she's one that I have to watch right away. Um, Jen the Caffeinated Crafter, we've talked about her a lot on this channel, but she also, I, everything she does, I want to do everything. But she's talked about the Sloppy Stitching Sisters in the last couple videos. So I, oh, that's how you found them, mm -hmm. huh? I thought I'd pop over and um, see what they're all about. Oh my God, they are hilarious. Absolutely. I love watching them. I get such a kick out of it. Um, Tasha and I, I feel like we're um, spirit animals, spirit sisters together because she just reminds me of me. Yeah, I was watching the first video and it's like, oh my gosh, that's Jamie. That, that's why you like them. <laughs> Probably. I like me. What can I say? Yeah. But they're, they're really fun. And their third video, I was just listening, stitching along, and the story they have at the beginning of their third video, I, just, I was dying. I absolutely was dying. I haven't gotten through the first video yet. I've watched it. A total of three times, still trying to get through it, but it's an hour long, and I have limited time to watch a video, yes. which leads me to my next pick, yes. which is Janet Jabber. Mm -hmm. I love watching her videos. They come out Tuesday mornings. They're anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes long. Maybe she might have a long one in there, 25 minutes. She talks fast. She's energetic. I love the stuff she does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it works out because it's every Tuesday morning, and it's while I'm getting ready for work, so I'm able to watch her. Get it done. By the time she's done, I'm ready to go out the door. And Yep. Short and sweet. That's the way I like it. Who else you got? Um, two Tall Stitchers. Our friends, Carol and Jen. We never miss one of their episodes. I love the quilt they have hanging in the background in their most recent Most recent, video. yeah. Oh, it just came out a couple days ago, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. This, Maybe last weekend. How we set up our videos is 100% stolen from them. Yeah. With their acknowledgement, yeah. their agreement, they told us where to buy the rack. Yeah, so. exactly. Is that all for now? If, so. if our phone just kind of drops for no yeah. reason, we broke our little phone holder yeah. on our camera. So. Our tripod's broken, yeah. so it's, you know, it's just kind of <laughs> hanging out, and we're just going to go for it. Yeah, just don't breathe too hard. <laughs> no laughing tonight. <laughs> okay, is that everybody? I think so. I mean, that's all we have noted. Okay. Yeah, that's all we got. Um, we'll link, Jamie will link all those below in the description mm -hmm. box. Yes. If anybody does watch our videos who we've linked, we appreciate the work that you guys do in your floss tubes. Thank you so much for that. Um, also we want to shout out Jen, the caffeinated crafter. She lives in Florida and I know that she has gotten missed by the hurricane. So also thinking about anybody who has been impacted by the hurricane. Yes. We, we are praying for you guys and hope, hope everybody is safe. Mm -hmm. It was um, very drastic. Very, very bad. It picked up some speed. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. What is next? We did our retreats. We did our floss tube shout outs. Mm -hmm. We went apple picking. We did go apple picking. That Yay. was two weeks ago. That was right after our last video. Yes, it was. Yeah, because it was last video. It was Friday because it was Friday the 13th and then we went apple picking the next day. Yep. Yes. That was fun. Yeah. Was there anything exciting about that? Jim didn't get me lost in a graveyard this time. <laughs> um, I don't think there... We spent a lot of money, but that was, it's expected. The way we treat apple picking... It's like a state fair. Yeah. It's at Vala's Pumpkin Patch, and it's, it's basically a fall amusement park, really, is what it comes down to. And we know we go in spending some money, and we're okay with that. Yeah. We have fun with it. Yes, absolutely. Um, then we went to Fremont, Fremont last weekend. Yeah. Had a quick little day trip there. Saw a sign for pumpkins on the way home. Had to stop. Well, we were there. We had to buy a block of the month. Oh, yeah. Because we, we don't do have that. enough to do as it is. And that's but, part of the haul, too. Yeah, that'll be in the haul. But this little pumpkin patch thing was absolutely adorable. It was literally just a... Um, a sign by the road, and you just drive down into their little neighborhood, this little person's neighborhood, and they had all the pumpkins laid out, and you just picked what you yeah, wanted. Yeah, they had picked them for us, and just, you know, they had them laying there, and you go in and choose your pumpkin, weigh it. Mm -hmm. They I, trusted you to leave money, yep, which yep. I left extra money. Good faith effort. Um, you can either Venmo them, cash, check. I did get some pictures, so I'll put some pictures oh, in, yeah. too. yeah, fine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was that. Yeah. And 
I think we're good to go to show, show and tell. I think so. Yeah. You handled the question. You didn't say who it was, but... I did not because I didn't see who it was. I just knew we had the question. She was just confused about where to find our shop updates. So. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that. We we appreciate knowing that... We need the feedback. Yeah. That we need some clarity out there. Yeah. And if you don't like the shop updates, we separate it at the end of the video so you know exactly when you can tune out and mm -hmm. go find somebody else to watch. And we exactly. appreciate the time that you spend with us. That being said... Let's show some cross-stitch. show some stuff. You, you start. Do you want to tell your story no, first? No, I'm okay. not ready. Okay. Still not ready. So, last video, I drew... You got some good projects. I video. did. I got some really good ones. You drew for me, mm -hmm. Charting Creations, Uninvited Guest. And this is a full coverage piece. I was so excited to start it. And I do kind of want to tell a little story of something that I think I figured out. Okay. Is this a story or an epiphany? I think it's both. Okay. I think it's an epiphany. So I have all these full coverage projects that I really want to do. How did I word it to you? I put them off. Because I really want to spend time on them. You know that you'll spend time and you, you Won't want, want to, to stop. focus. Yeah. So I put it off to the end thinking I can get all my little projects done and out of the way and then spend more time on my full coverages. Mm -hmm. And that never seems to happen. So it didn't happen this time either. I'll show your board real quick. Oh, my board. So these are the projects I drew. Which we don't expect you to read them. No, but I, the stitches that I got in them. So I feel like I did pretty good on yeah. the ones that I that I drew. So anyway, I put this off until the last minute and I only got 118 stitches in it. So that's where I'm at. It still looks good. I love it. Look at that pumpkin. I had to work down and do that pumpkin last time. So I'm thinking I need to learn how to do some maybe diagonal stitching and some parking. Maybe that might make it a little easier. So what you're struggling with, let me know if I'm incorrect, is it just you get a little bit far away and you feel like you haven't counted or you're finding mistakes, things like that. So what I'm struggling with is when I was doing things like the pumpkin, that is the only color in it. So you know exactly where to work. Now that I'm doing black, because I, I worked on this area a little bit. Now that I'm doing black, you saw the picture. There is so much black in it. I don't know where to go. And I get confused and I get stressed out. So decision fatigue or decision paralysis. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's why I'm thinking, well, maybe I should have started in a corner and just worked my way down diagonally and just did a page at a time like most people do. I'm still trying to figure all this out. You could start that now. Like you could just start here. That's kind of what I was and thinking. just work your way. You could do by page. You could do an entire... But now that I'm kind of in the middle and everything is black, I don't know where to go. And it just, yeah, it's confusing. I would say try and figure out which direction you want to head. If you like working down, if you like working up, and then work your way that direction. I've learned in the last... I've solidified in the last six months that I like working down. I'm just worried if I keep working that castle i may not do well i was thinking i may not do any more of it but if you look at it there's something everywhere yes. i mean there's cats there's this little what do you call him the reaper reaper grim reaper there's i saw other things up here there's a ghost walking down the stairs yeah. i mean it's very very black and white but Ooh, there's so much it. in it and you are working on? I am working on 25 count, easy count, Lugana. One over one full cross. One over one full cross. Okay. Which is another thing. Why am I doing full cross? Well, why not? Uh-huh. That's, <laughs> it's that's the way it's going to happen because it's working okay. That's where I'm at. <gasps> what? I didn't bring my board. You didn't bring your board. I don't even know where my board is right now. You didn't leave it back here, did you? Board. Oh, how are you gonna know what you did? Well, because I didn't write it down. I didn't talk about the quilt either. Well, bugger snots. Okay, <laughs> here's my board. <laughs> this is what I did. Um, here, here's her board, which look, looks a lot like mine. Yeah. Same projects. <laughs> I pulled five projects. 
Um, I'm still not ready to talk about my story, so we'll we'll get to that in a minute. But the first project I worked on, this is the Little Bits of Autumn by Jardin Privé, and I got a hundred ish, a hundred and thirty ish stitches into it. And I just continued the border down. I think I did it over here too, but I can't remember because I was too big scared. Okay. That's my first one. Very good. Um, the next one that was pulled for me was Pumpkin Kisses by Primrose Cottage Stitches. This one I had the word harvest done and maybe the W in wishes. I, I can't remember. And I finished it. And I'm doing this on 32 count vintage country mocha. It's so finished. I got I should have 830 stitches in it. And that part? You want to talk about that part? Oh yeah. I know did we've you say you, before. you did yours light? Yeah. Lighter. Um, the H in harvest is charted as a blank space. And I filled mine in with the, the dark that I was already working in. Jimmy filled hers in with the lighter orange. Mm -hmm. Just gave it a little something, something. Something, something. Okay, guys, you ready for the story? I'm not sure I'm ready for it. I worked a ton on this project. I absolutely loved working on it. This is my Beauty and the Beast from Cross Stitch with Us. I got this on Etsy. No idea if it's still available. But I was working in the middle, and I'll show that. Or not the middle, but the bottom middle. And I was working down here and over here. And um, I, was, I was taking out the brown in here. So it looks really messy because I'm actually in the middle of taking it out. And I'm doing... So it called for 3371. I am doing a combination between the blue and the black. I'm doing a blended in there instead. It's like, you know what? I really like working from the top down. So I meticulously counted and I counted and I counted and I counted. Do you want to come over so you're in the screen? Okay. <laughs> this was on a um, roll frame. Roll. Roll of frame? Yeah. Roll of frame. Thank you. So then I rolled it up and I made sure I was in the right spot and I started stitching and I did over a thousand stitches and I thoroughly enjoyed working on this. I was having so much fun. And then I scrolled, and I realized, I put it in the wrong spot. It is up too high, it is over too far to the left. I have to restart this project. I looked at it, and I tried everything I could think of to make it so we could work it out, and it just, once I thought it, once I, <laughs> when I knew it was over too far, I thought we could just fill in the back border a little bit. Like, take out some of this in here and then put more back here. But then when I realized it was also too high, mm -hmm. it's like, we just can't fill it in. There's Because I counted off of this blob, not this blob. So, triple, triple, quadruple, check your stuff. That's what I have to say about that. Anyway, this kind of, it put me in a funk. Like, it, I kind of didn't want to stitch after that. Like, I was grumpy. So I did decide I'm going to restart it, and the only reason I'm changing the fabric color is because I had this, and I didn't have this. So I'm restarting it. And maybe lighter will be easier to see. Maybe, yeah. Of course, you do still have young eyes, so. <laughs> um, I will be restarting it. I do not want to put it away necessarily before I restart it, but we'll see how that goes. I even told her I'd restart it for her. Mm hmm Because she, she's being mild about how bad of a week she's had. She just... I and had it, to pick her up off the floor. And it was all internal, too. I didn't... Yeah. I wasn't, like, freaking out externally or anything. It's just like... But not only did she put that project away, but she put them all away. She, did. she didn't even want to look at stitching. Nope. I did not for an entire week. I yeah. didn't touch it. But I do have some things still to show you. Yeah. You did still get some stuff I done. I did. Okay. My next one is Halloween Mantle by Bent Creek. I love this. I got in. Wow. 
why do I have a hard time finding them? 694 stitches. Because you don't have your glasses on and you can't see? No, that's not it. Oh. Oh, where's my boars? So I'm doing this on 32 count raw natural. 32. Um, I had, I had about half of this left to do, which I finished. This was already done. That's a long reach. So I, I did the whole, um, witch and the bat and the ghost. I was like, that's enough. I'm done. <laughs> um, we had our friends Marilyn and Pam come over last Saturday, Sunday, last Sunday. Sunday. And we did some stitching here at my house and. This is why I don't go to retreats. I took that witch out three times. Did you really? Oh, I just, I could not concentrate. I didn't realize that. Yeah. So I almost, you didn't see me, but I almost just set that aside. It's like, I'm done. I'm just going to sit here and talk. <laughs> so, that's why I don't do retreats. Right. But I did end up getting 694 stitches in it, so I'm that's happy. That's good. And it's done for a while. So I did get back to stitching. But I decided I wanted to do small, easy projects. And so I picked up this one. This is Praiseworthy Stitches, the Creepy Spider Kit. And I started and finished it. Look at it. It's super cute. I didn't measure it, but it you can't be more than, than two, inches. two and a half inches. Yeah. Did you bring the tin that it goes on? It's in the bag, but yes, it did. Now, it has, the kit has everything in it. It has floss, it has fabric. Um, Pam from Praiseworthy Stitches, she does say that she tea dyes hers. She just dunks it literally in a cup of tea that she had. Um, but. After she, she stitches? No, before. before. I didn't want to. So I found one that's relatively tea dyed. <laughs> so I just used that. I did that. What is the fabric? Did you mention it? Oh, the fabric is that I did it on 32 count vintage pecan butter. I had this wonderful little piece and I'm going to get two other kits out of it. And we'll talk about that in plans. Who is the fabric by? Do you know? I think it's a Lakeside Linen, right? Vintage pecan butter? I don't know. I think that's you're, you're the fabric girl. You're the one that has all that stuff memorized. I'm the fabric in a fabric world. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what you had to hear. You can't unhear it. Hey, you chose to hear it. I'm just saying. You're fast forwarding. Okay. Um, the one that was really calling to me that mm -hmm. I was dying to start or Indeed. keep working on is Telen Emblem. And this is Tangled Tidings Happy Halloween. So I had quite a bit of it started. Mm -hmm. I think I may need that. Can you reach it? Oh. Or I can use this, maybe. Yeah, use that, because I don't... I honestly think that the phone might fall. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I had the pumpkins on the top done. The, most of the leaves. I had one side of the purple and blue, green leaf done. So I had the outline of the purple and green leaf on the other side done. So I filled those in. I did the little, whatever you call those little X things. Motif. I started outlining the bird, which surprisingly is outlined in blue. I was expecting black, but I got 899 stitches in it. Mm -hmm. Just one more. This is turning out so good. I love it. I was very happy about it. And you were not doing the border. I'm not doing the border. Okay. Um, I'm doing that on 36 count Wren. I picture this plus one floss over two stitches mm -hmm. and this is the border we're talking about that chain border so, I was satisfied I had been wanting to do that really bad and I'd been calling to me and I got some stitches in it and I'm happy and I mm -hmm. can move on so I did this so I started this one last Saturday I finished it on Sunday didn't pick anything up and then on Monday it doesn't matter. It took me four days is what it comes down to. Um, I picked this one up. This is Mill Hill Autumn Harvest. This is called Pet Spider. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Look at it. He's walking a spider, guys. He's walking a spider. And I got it done. 
Feeding and everything. Feeding and everything. Look at the little spider. So now we just have to cut it out. It comes with a magnet and everything. Oh, look at it. So what do you put on the back of something like that? You honestly can just leave it as is, but I would prefer to put some felt or something on the back. Okay. I've never actually done one of those, so I don't know. It's actually pretty fun stitching on the perforated paper, but I was also thinking as I'm stitching, because I, I hold it like this, so I use my fingers in the back to support. Um, I'm not sure how I could do a, a full-size mill, a buttons and beads kit. I feel like I would bend the fabric, or paper. Yeah. Oh, I have more. You I thought we were done. No, we more. I'm done. Okay, so I am working on this one. And, and it is, is called one? Halloween Rules okay. by Lizzie Kate. And I'm working from the bottom up. I had gotten all the way to sit for a spell, and I was starting on Mind Your Mummy, which is right up there. The glasses are right there. Yeah. It takes time mm -hmm. to put them on. So I got Mind Your Mummy done. Well, mummy's kind of hard to see, but... Mine was there. too. And then I outlined the next one, which is Stay Up Late, which is going to be the little owls. I got the little branch in. I've been done with that for a while, too. Okay. Um, what did I get in that one? I got 863 stitches in it. 800 to number. Yeah. And what fabric are you working on? This is 32 count vintage Dormy Night. Yeah. Udana. Love that fabric. It's so soft. It is really easy to work on. Did I give all my number counts for my projects? Yes. Okay. Yes, you did. Do you have any more stitching? No. Nope. Okay. That's all I was stitching. That's what we have for stitching. Okay. What's next? We got some happy mail. Hold on. I'm losing it. Okay. There we go. We, a friend of ours, sent this into us. This got this card. Look at it. She knows us. <laughs> This is from Cheryl Bradford. She has a store, Mesa Quilt Co. And she makes project bags. And she sent us some project bags. You will see some of these in a giveaway. Yeah. But she sent us, she has two sizes that she made, um, sent in. This is a 10 by 10, which this is an eight and a half sheet of paper, so... I personally love this size. And then what is this? This is, feels a little bit bigger than a normal project I did, bag. I didn't actually measure it, to be honest. Um, does she, she says in the 13. card. Does she? Yeah. 12 by 13. And this is Tracy Kogut fabric. <laughs> nice straight stitches. I can't sew that straight. As many years as I've been quilting, I still can't sew that straight. And this one, this is the back of it. Ducky took a hit. <laughs> oh, Sorry. he took a hit with the robin bag. <laughs> the robin's fighting back. And sunflowers. It does not say in the card. I oh, thought it did. Look at this hocus pocus fabric. 10 by 10 uh -huh. for the small one. Uh -huh. Or the larger one for bigger projects that will hold Q-snaps and hooks and etc. I don't know what this size is. Okay. Whoa, I don't need to be that close. <laughs> Get all up in there. I know it. More Teresa Kogue fabric. We didn't show any of these, but she's got little charms on each one. Oh, yeah. Super cute charms. Cheryl, these are great. Your craftsmanship is fantastic. Yeah. So we get to keep the bubble. Thank you so, so much. That's so kind of you. And then we'll, we'll do giveaways, probably for our 5,000 mm -hmm. video. Hey, do we have a, a reunion? Do we have a um, floss tube anniversary? Oh! When is that? We actually do. When is that? Is that like now? 
Is it today? No way. Oh, we're at the end of September already, guys. Yeah. Sometime in September. <laughs> How many years? That's... Uh, we'll figure that out, too. It's four years. Oh, my goodness, Mom. Thank you, guys, for sticking with us this long. Yay! Four years, 5,000 subscribers. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We're also going to... This is probably plans, but um, I'm um, strong holding no strong arming I'm strong arming mom into doing a whip parade have I heard about this yeah we are gonna do a finished mm -hmm. parade of all of our finished projects that are not FFO'd yes I was pulling mine out the other day and I'm like you know what we should just show these yeah because we got a lot of them yeah because we stitch because we like to stitch we don't necessarily plan on displaying them or showing them or Stitch and put them in our under the bed box. Yep. <laughs> Every time I bring my now, mom's like, "Wow, you do stitch. <laughs> you do finish <laughs> things. Thank you. <laughs> you, have, you have a lot here. I do. Someday we're gonna have a finishing parade. Someday. Someday. Okay. We have haul. Do you want to start? So when we went to the Nebraska Quilt Company in Fremont, they had this pretty little purple block of the month. So of course we each had to get one. Mm -hmm. And it's purple, and they sell the entire kit mm -hmm. at, and the fabric, but then they put you in a Facebook group, or ask you to join a Facebook group, where they have instructional videos on how to sew each block. Yes. So, fun, fun. They've already put out the first one, and as you can tell, ours is still in the box. In the box. You, where's your fabric? The orange one. I put it away because we showed it last time. Did we? Yeah. Oh, so I've already shown these? Yes. Cool. I'm not going to show them again then. Wait, did we? Are you yes. sure? Yes, because I held mine up and it was like in your face bright orange. I'm still going to show it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still not started. Sorry, Charlie. It's okay. Okay. We did get some fabric from Mystic Fabric. It's called Everything Else. It's 32 Count Lugana. It's, oh, you're not going to be able to see it. I need a white thing. Will you hold this? It's kind of a green gray, mm -hmm. would you say? Yeah. So we got a large piece so Jamie and I can split it. I personally like getting neutrals and light neutrals and just things that you keep in your stash and use for anything. Yeah. Um, we got some Grace Notes fabric. We mm -hmm. got, what is that? Aqua Fresca? Fresca. And that is also a 32 count Lugana. Whoa. And of course, you know, it's blue. So you it's can't blue, yeah. actually see it, but. Very pretty. I wish it wasn't blown out because it's so pretty. And then we got a green Oh, what is that? It's mojito. Thank you. Why didn't you just show it? And it's a green. It's mojito smoothie. Okay. Let's so. show all three together so you can see. We got a tan, a blue, and a green. Is that tan? Ish. Ish. Looks more. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I can see it. Okay. I. You know how you shop when you uh, just start irritated, right? <laughs> so I was on Etsy, and I found this, and then I found this one, and oh, so pretty. they are so stinking pretty. I love them. They're so soft. I got them from Cross Stitch Pattern Cross, but you have to have something to stitch them on, right? It's in plastic, I'm sorry. I got some white washed board. Fabric flare. 14 count. And I'm going to stick these on there. That will be very pretty. Are you going to do it vertical or horizontal? I hadn't thought about it. A horizontal, because I don't want the vertical stripes to mess with this one. Yeah. Right. That's what we're going to do. I'm so excited. I also got my coloring, not coloring cotton, please stitch me. 
fabric of the month. This is 32 count Lugana. It is a blue. A pretty blue. That's very pretty. I think that's it. That's it? Okay. Okay, okay. We're going to drop projects. Are you ready, <gasps> ready to drop projects? It's a time. So I think what I'm going to do this time, and it changes week after week. Until you find what works for you. Until I find what works for me. I have some, like my Autumn Sal, my monthly minis, my Year in the Hoop that I want to get done this next week. So I'm only going to draw one project, and it's going to be my focus project. So I'm going to try and really get some stitches in that. Okay. Whatever that may be. I'm uh, thinking back to what I have on my board. Oh, you can't do it. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> I just can't show it. Um, I have Autumn Sal on my board, so we'll see if I that or not I'm not sure right now which I'm sure you can understand that I just want to wipe the slate clean and start fresh but there are two that I do want to put on the board and they're just going to be quick so I'm not counting them in my numbers this is praiseworthy stitches haunted casket again this is a kit that mom and I got last year but we do have more and then this one we don't have any more of and it's a really hard picture I'm sorry Little mummy kit. We got this last year also. But these are so tiny. And it's very similar to these where we can just get them done. And it'll be great. So those are on my list. Are you going to restart your Beauty and the Beast? At this exact moment, I'm undecided. I'm, I'm going to restart it. It's just whether I do it on this go or not. Okay. But it'll be available. It's an option. Are you ready to draw already? I also have Fruits of Plenty still on my board. So you have that, three. That's your um, foster, our foster project. Our shared custody project. Yeah. So I didn't get any stitches in that this time. Um, do stick around after we draw. We will pull our projects and show you where we're at, mm -hmm. what we have. And we also had a giveaway, announcement yes. for giveaway last video that we'll draw, draw for. Yep, yep. This is Mom's. Project, my Ducky. Ducky. Do you have any hopes of a project? I don't right now. I don't. Okay. So Nothing's calling to me. This is going to be Mom's focus project. This is Sunflower Garden. It's a Mill Hill kit. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that is a Mill Hill kit that I'm doing on regular fabric. Yes. Which you will see once I pull it. Okay. Are you sure? Just one? Just one. Okay. Yep. I got lots to do. I'm pulling five. Are you? Yep. You are pulling so five for me. What is staying on your board? Did you already discuss that? Yes. At this point, I don't know if anything's staying on my board. Oh, except for these two projects. They're. I'm just going to do them and be oh, done. Okay. So the first one is Food Tree. <gasps> really? Yeah. Who is that by? It's a new start also, but it's um, Prim Repair. I love that one. I've been wanting to do that. I was going to cut my fingernails tonight, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I don't know if it's allergies or what's going on, but I am so dry. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I am dry, dry. Old West Dry Goods. <gasps> that is Little House? Yes, Little House. Uh, this is one that I'm going to, you know, I make plans, I change plans, I don't follow through with plans. But this is one I would like to focus on next year and get done. So I'm, that's why it's in the pot right now. How far are you into it now? Uh, maybe 40%. Okay. So probably wouldn't get it done in the next no. couple of weeks. Okay. But it's fun. I thought we just pulled this one for you. Gather in? We that did. Is? Yeah, the gather in. Look at you. It doesn't have a name <laughs> on it. It's because we just did it. Plum Street Samplers, the gather in. Did you get anything in it last time? A little, yeah, like 400 stitches, 300 stitches. That's quite a bit. Yeah, that is that is a good amount for me. For me, too. I'm comfortable with that amount. You have, oh, the iris one. I don't remember the name of it. but It's on there. It's literally it on there. It says QS iris. Quick stitch iris. Okay. This is a heaven and earth design. I'm doing this for my grandma in memory mm -hmm. of her. One more? Yeah. Do you have any hopes? No. 
Any designers? No. Any guesses? No. Okay. I know you want to do this one. Okay. 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 Pumpkin Boo! <gasps> Who is this? Alice, Alessandra? Adelaide. Alessandra Adelaide. Okay. Bello. So I'm calling this a new start, but technically it started. I literally have seven stitches in this, but it's all at least kitted. So, oh my god, look at that yeah, that's adorable. I love that. Perfect time of year for that one, too. There's two. I know you've been wanting it. I have. Two new starts in this pile. Hey. Plus these new starts. Okay. Pause. Pro pa pause. Pause and go get it? Yep. Okay. And we're back. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've pulled them. I'll show mine real quick because I've only got one. Um, You've seen seen all the others. So my draw was... Um, I should have taken this out of the package. Mill Hill... What is it called? Sunflower Garden. Yep. So this is little... <laughs> I can't even talk. We shouldn't have taken a break. I am doing mine on 14 count Ada Touch of Yellow. And that's how far I've gotten so far. And I had, I had it pulled out and looked at to figure out what was top and what's bottom. Okay, there's the top. So the one little butterfly fits right in here. This oh, one, that the little one's dragonfly? Got dragonfly, it. Yeah. Okay. So you started in the middle and then worked your way up. Yeah. Okay, cool. These are pretty beads. So I don't like working on perforated paper, so that's why I'm doing it on fabric. Yes. Okay. Let me get back in the groove here so I can talk, maybe. This first one is Pumpkin Boo by Alessandra Adelaide. Hers is a tongue twister for me, her name. I'm going to be doing mine on 14 count slate by Fabrics by Stephanie. I do have five stitches in it. That is very pretty fabric. Five stitches. Not seven. Five. <laughs> it's a start. It is. It is so cute. So cute. Look at him. I just want to boop it. <laughs> You wanted to boob them because that's where your five stitches are, is right at the nose. It is, yes. This next one will be a new start if I choose to work on it. This is Boo Tree by The Primitive Hair. I will be doing mine on Fortnite Fabrics 32 Count Ruth, which is it's kind of, I don't know, it almost, like. Oh, ooh, that's the chart. That was not <laughs> smart. Off white, this is, this, this isn't helpful, guys. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is our first night. <laughs> We've never done this before. The next one is, this is a Quick Stitch Iris Heaven and Earth Designs. Artwork is by Jody Bergsma. Right? Josephine Wall. That's what it looks like. This sucker is tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm doing mine on 25 count Easy Grid Lugana. It still looks a little crazy right now. I started originally in the bottom left-hand corner. Then I worked my way up to the top left-hand corner. All these little threads in here. Um, I was color completing. And you can see like there's no stitches around there. So I have nothing to bury my thread under. So I'm leaving those out until I stitch around it more. And I'm either going to stitch over and just cut it. Or I will pull it back through and thread it through the back. But I'm just kind of working all over the place. And this sucker, look at this. Six by seven inches. Wow. Six by seven. It's so tiny. If I was more confident in my counting, I would pop around all over the place too, but I'm not. Yeah. Who knows if I am anymore? I don't know. I don't. Kind of got burned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Little House Needleworks Old West Dry Goods. This is her Tumbleweeds collection. I'm doing mine on a 28 count Monaco that Mom and I writ dyed ourselves called Four Floss. This is my standard no margin. Um, I'm definitely not 40%. I'd say more like 25-30%. But that's that. And this last one you've seen relatively recently. This is Plum Street Samplers The Gather In. Doing mine on 32 count Vintage Country Mocha Lugana. All called for, and I started in the bottom right hand corner. Just got a little something something in there. 
those are my projects. Yay! It's gonna be a fun couple of weeks. Yes. Maybe I can get focused and that'll help me out a little bit. Yes. I did have a good last couple of weeks. So. Good. I'm glad. After a couple of weeks like that, then I need less projects. Mm -hmm. The way my brain works. I Give you need, something to focus yeah. on. and Yes. Okay. Um, we still have a giveaway to we talk do. about, but we forgot to mention oh. the quilt behind us. It is finished, guys. My goodness. This is our block of the month. You're only seeing a quarter of it. This is Daisy Days. It's a king size. And I relatively quickly got the center down, but I've been working on the borders now for about six weeks. And I finally have them done. You can see them behind Jamie's head. Um, this border here is mitered. All the rest of them are just sewn straight on. There are seven borders. Seven. Starting right here. And just keep going out. By the time I got to the last one today, I was sewing on it. It's like, I don't need this border on here. Yep. But then it's like, yeah. Yeah, you do. I, I'm not going to quit now. Yes. So. so that's fantastic. It's huge. That's the shop kit. So the block of the month is still going on. You guys can still get in on it. It's mm -hmm. a very, I think, easy quilt. I do too. Yes. Yeah. So I'm glad we remembered to talk about that because we were forgetting. Yeah. But we have a giveaway. Can we talk about the giveaway? Um, yes, one of our customers, mm -hmm. this wasn't the anonymous one, no. right? Um, Veta wanted to give someone this chart, and also she is giving the floss minus the DMC. Yep, called for overdives. So the last video we asked you guys if you want to be entered in the drawing for it to use the word Joshua. Yep, keyword Joshua. Yep. So we went ahead and pulled a winner. I will put a screenshot up here. The winner is Marie, Margie 6534. Congratulations, Margie. Uh, be sure to grab our email from the description box below. Send us an email with your physical mailing address. Let us know that it's you. Um, and we'll get that sent out to you. Yeah. Is there any? So, I feel like I missed something. I feel like, well, you know, people have done this for so long. I think everybody knows how to do it. If you have any questions, let us know. Please. Yes. Um, there will be more giveaways mm -hmm. for this pattern. And we had somebody else donate some PDFs. Yeah, so they will be in PDF format. Yep. And it'll be the pattern only. We have not that, forgotten. That will also be with our 5,000 show. Yeah. Words. It's getting late. I'm having, I'm it having is. words, word struggles. It's 930, guys. It's scandalously late. Um, also, with these giveaways, we do have a Ko-Fi link. Mm-hmm. And it's linked below if you guys um, would like to donate to our Ko-Fi. We do use that for postage, for shipping out all this stuff. Yep. So exactly. Feel free to, to donate. We'd appreciate it. Oh, she's yawning again. I know she's not hungry. I just fed her. It's my bedtime. I know. Okay. I know. What else do we have? We have a shop update. Are we, we done do. with, with Floss Tube? We have, I have made a mess of this table. Mm-hmm. You usually do. I and do. then you leave and... Hey, to deal with it. I clean up my mess. What? Here? Mm-hmm. I do. I do. I promise. Um. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Um. You shouldn't breathe so heavy when you're trashing me. <laughs> I'm a heavy breather. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting so far. You are. So we are going to go ahead and wrap up this floss tube and then roll right on into our shop update. So follow us on Instagram, Facebook. We're at Harlan Quilt Stitch. We're at um, Cornhusker State Stitcher. We're at Jamie Mickelson. All the things listed below. You know where to find us. That's it for tonight. If Thanks you for joining us. don't know where to find us, just ask us. But yes, it's all linked below. Leave us comments. We like reading your comments. Comments, yeah. comments have been kind of low lately. I know a friend said that she watches hers on TV, so she can't comment. But those of you that can, we'd appreciate a comment. We like we like reading them. Yes. Okay. Um, please stick around for our shop updates. We're going to attach it to the video right after this. Thank you, guys. Bye. Hello, 
with Stitchy Friends. I'm Terry, And I'm Jamie. And, and we're Heartland Quilting, Quilting and Stitching. It is Friday, September 27th, 2024, and we are here for a Heartland Quilting and Stitching shop update. We have a lot more stuff to, that we're not going to show tonight that we'll have a video on later mm -hmm. because it is coming in it day is. by day. We're getting more and more stuff. Yep. I've been in charge of ordering product and I've been hitting the order button. Yeah. <laughs> It's good though. So you ready? Yeah, what do we have do other we, than we product? Have, yeah. We have tons, like mom said, we have tons of product. You didn't prepare me for this part. <laughs> I didn't prepare for this part. I don't think, I think we just have a shop, with, or a, I think we just have patterns. I think so. Okay. All right. So let's start showing you what we have. Let's do that. Okay, before we get into showing some of the new stuff, I do want to mention that we still have some of the Halloween edition of the Just Cross Stitch magazine still in stock. So we're almost out of these, so if you want it, we do still have a couple of copies left. And then we have the new Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine in stock now. We tried to zoom in a little bit better for you guys, so hopefully we're getting all that, that in the film. There's really no way for us to see what we're showing you. Like what the camera is seeing. Without sticking our face in the camera. And right. I don't want to see that. Um, we do have the new Seasonal Sampler Autumn by Diane Williams. And this is a kit with um, her new pattern. And it comes with these flosses listed. I can't flip it over and show you the flosses because um, you would see the pattern. So, And it's all floss that she has in her current line. So it's not new floss. Right. We have Merry Christmas from Erica Michaels. And then in the Word Swap Silly series, we have Jack O' Lantern by Stitching with the Housewives. New in the Blooming Roots series is the Bittersweet Boulevard. And along with that, we have a floss pack for it as well. So all called for floss. This is something that you would purchase separately, but we do have them available. Oh, I love these. Yeah. Um, we do have Cherry Blossom. Some people are worth melting for. It's actually called Cherish. But look at the snowman and the little, Z the little O's. And this is actually by Cherry Blossom is Cherry Gidtree. Gidtree? Which is a quilter. So there's a lot of quilting people now getting into cross stitch. Yes. Also by Cherry Blossoms. This is Snow Day. I really, really, really love this pattern. But I personally would do it on a different fabric. That's just a me thing. I'm not an aqua person. But I do that on a different one. Mm -hmm. Then also by Cherry Blossom. We have the Vintage Ornament Set 1. Which leads me to believe that she's coming out with more than the first set. One might think, right? One might think. So it comes with all three patterns. An ex uh, accessory. An accessory to this are the backer boards. They come as one. Um, you only get one in a package. Sorry. Hold on. So each one, there's three patterns. Only one package gives you one board is what I'm trying to say. And you could get one board and just um, switch them out, but since they're all Christmas, you'd probably want to get three boards and um, do all three if you want to display them sep or the same. Yep. And we are. this is the last one that we have here, and we have more on order, so we will be getting some more. And you can also just finish them on a, a hoop. Yeah. The options are endless. Okay, we have the newest... Fabulous House Series number 10 by Cottage Garden Samplings. And this is Fairy House. And she does have 12 in her series, so this series is almost coming to an end. From Annie B's, we have In the Pumpkin Patch. We also had her newest one, Harvest Moon, but we have sold out of that before we could even show it to you, so... But we will be ordering more if you're interested in them. Let us know. And then we have some new fabrics. 
Yes. So new to us, new to our shop, this is a 32 count light pink with polka dots. So it's a, it's a antique white kind of color with pink dots. Along with it, we have, I guess it's actually called Splash Pink. Splash Light Mint. So this has some mint colored dots, but still that same light antique white background. And they're just sporadic enough that it doesn't look like it's, um, what word am I looking for? Repetitive? Yeah, it's not repetitive. Rhythmic. It's just, it would make good like snowflakes and things like that. It's just really pretty. Yes. Obviously not those colors, but <laughs> and then use your imagination. <laughs> this next one, I don't, did I say these are both 32 count? I'm not sure. So this next one is 32 count splash light basalt. I don't know how you actually say it, but it's got darker color. Um, like a charcoal. Mm-hmm. Same light, antique white. You can see all three of them here. We've got the pink, the mint, and the dark. Oh, and we have that splash, too. Mm -hmm. This is regular, just splash mint. So it is a mint color, but with white um, dots. And then a powder pink splash. These are both 32 count Luganas. Again, this is a light pink with white splashes. And I would say they're more antique white color. Yeah. Very subtle. Hopefully the camera's not blowing them out because where we're looking it really blows them out. You can hardly see them. They're very cute. And then we got three new fabric flares. Okay, the first one is a 14 count, and it is white washed board. This is the same one, if you saw our floss tube, this is the same one that I bought. Jamie buys it for herself and gets extra for you guys. Exactly. So everybody benefits. And going with the season, we have a 14 count, um, what is this, cobweb? cobweb. Yep. yep. 14 count cobweb. It's kind of a antique fabric with gray cobwebs. I'd say an ivory, maybe. Ivory, yeah. I'm curious. Okay, we saw another video where um, it showed up gray or gold yeah. in the video, and I just want to make sure it wasn't here. And then along with that... A 28 count linen. So it's the same one. This one's 14 count. This one's 28 count. One's an Ada, one's linen. We've been kind of hesitant to buy this because we thought it was kind of um, busy, but I saw something stitched on it this morning, or yesterday, I guess it was, and it blended in really well. So I think it would really look nice on a on a Halloween project. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Just place it well where the big cobwebs, like, right over whatever you're stitching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it'd be nice. And that's what we have for new product. Um, thanks for joining us, and we will see you in a couple of weeks. Actually, we might see you sooner than that because we got a lot of new product coming in. Yes. So thank you for joining us. Thanks for sticking with us, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.